these blueberry hills, a lot of these used to burn off every so many years. Catch fire one way or another, and then you wouldn't have the cover. And the blueberries would just come on. I fought fire where it burned out, and the fire would probably, well, be 500 feet away, maybe 700 feet away, and it was hot. You just get down on your knees and get handfuls of blueberries. And I think that was because of no brush cover and everything. Needs another rain with this hot weather, maybe in a week, but the blueberries are coming on anyway. Just four liters, I'd get about $40, but on the stands, they'll get $16, $18 a liter, I would think. Most people will claim the taste isn't there between the wild ones and the tame ones. I like the, I like the wild ones for taste. I guess I have to admit that, that uh, I'd rather eat a dish of a wild blueberries than a wood tame. Delicious, by gosh, there's a nice bush. There's something in blueberries that the scientists claim it's only found in red wine and blueberries. They have to do with circulation, but they have properties too for fighting cancer, they, some of the scientists claimed. Now there's the real dark ones. See, those are the dark huckleberries. See the difference in your color? The taste isn't quite the same as your straight blueberries and that stuff, but they're still pretty good. You probably wouldn't want to get half the baskets full of huckleberries because some of the tourists aren't used to that. And of course, you get your steady customers year by year, same as anything, whether it's gas or anything else. You've got to satisfy the person that you're selling to.